Oh, but they're so much better. Oh, I guess they are. Uh, I love anything. Your orders is oh. Are you feeling better, Mish? I hope. We have six boxes and some envelopes. Hi, Polly. Oh, see, where's she at? Does she need help or? Oh. Hi, everybody. Oh, you're welcome, Ron. Everybody doing okay? We've had a low 60s, I think, today, although it was a rather overcast, but still, we'll take it. No, no real rain or anything. Yeah. Oh, be careful, Joko. Yeah. All right. You all are awesome, and I very much appreciate you all. Um, that's what one of the moms told me, that she was limping, and I will check her out. Yeah. Um, and, Mish, please do take care, Mish. There's my girl. If you see um, Candy, you got to check her leg out. Okay. She was limping. Ah, there you go. You got her. Yeah. Thanks, Barb. Can't be what? Okay. Okay. All right. Is is Mudgy on? Is Mudgy back there and the dog is. Oh, she is. Okay. Okay. Cambie's in in the room with the doggies right now, so we'll check her. Sixty four, sixty two. Isn't it crazy? I love it though. Cambie. Cambie is limping. All right. Um, do we have a mudgy? A mudgy. I think it's here. Yep, it's here, Brooke. But we can't go till we find mudgy. Today's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It does not seem like Wednesday to me. Okay, I'll call that guy. Yeah. yeah. Find out what's, what's the scoop. Yeah. Okay. Mons, do you know where Mudgy is? Or are we supposed to do a substitute? See her on the list. You do come so late. Huh? She does? Here, can be. Okay, MK, thank you. Oh, thank you for the offer, Cheryl. No. Well, and then MK, if you see Mudgy, just tell her we thought we lost her. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, and this, this box is from Brooke. We had this a couple of days ago. What do you think? It does have a tag. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, phooey. That didn't work too good. We'll do it this way. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, we cannot lose Mudgy. Ah, here's the thing. That didn't work. Oh, she did. There we go. Is the room still eating slippery? No, no. She is not. She's eating just about anything you give her. Yep. So, in case being our mudgy sub. <laughs> the kid. Oh. I can smell it, Brooke. Okay. I'm resorting to scissors. My muscle power is not with me tonight. I can smell it, though. I know it's got catnip. Oh, boy. Three, three yow bananas. Yeah. The kitties, er, the kitties love these. Oh, now stop it, girls. Thank you, Brooke. Yeah, these are, these are great. That yow uh, catnip is the scrump delicious that kind. And Franklin's over here sniffing the air. Zelda's going to snitch one, I think. Livingston's down there snitch, sniffing around. There's Mudgy. Yay! We didn't lose her after all. Hmm? I think so. Mudgy, we were very worried. We were worried about you. It says, Hi, and kitties of FFRC. I do hope you all enjoy these cat toys from me. And this is from Brooke. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brooke. I think what we'll do is give them a couple of these. You know how real bananas typically get brown when they get old? Well, these bananas get brown after they've been slobbered on a great deal. Here you go. You can have it. Now, we can't do all six. We're going to put these out sparingly. Thank you, Brooke. Very, very nice. Yeah, Mudgy, we were scared. We thought we lost you. All right, we'll do one more. Oh, we should, we should give that to uh, Spiker. Oh boy, Spiker's gonna go crazy. Thanks, Brooke. That's usually my safe area down there, or in there. Spiker says thanks too. Oh All right. Well, let's open this one. This one is from Robot Man. Oh, oh, nice in the box. <laughs> That's why I lose them. <laughs> Thank you. Who told me that? Nance, thanks, Nance. <laughs> Thank you, Philby. <laughs> this is from Robot Man. And Robot Man called the other day, and he told me a little bit about this. That if... It's spices. You know, Steve likes to cook. And he was mentioning that if any of you like good spices, these can be bought at through Amazon. It's Jane's Crazy Mixed Up Seasonings. Original mixed up pepper, marinade, and seasoning. Liven up your favorite dishes. He said especially pizza. There you go. He highly, highly recommend this. And we'll, we will share these out and sample them. So, Robot Man, thank you. Steve will definitely try this. He tries stuff on everything. There's some seasoning here for you to try. Robot, 
Scott, Steve already said thanks. Oh yeah, pizza, steaks, egg noodles. Yeah. So we'll try it. We'll let you know how it goes. Heads up, guys. Somebody's playing with the ring, the track ring. Anaya, you cannot go in the house. This is from Vicky B. Vicky B, our friend. And Vicky, I thank you very much. Oh, they changed their packaging a little. Royal Cannon, Mother and Baby Cat. This is the stuff we mix into everything. And uh, the cats will love this. Babies love it. Kittens love it. Sick kitties love it. I can get most cats that don't want to eat to eat this. So Vicky B, thank you very, very, very much. There's Mudgy. There's her, her traditional six bags of this. Yeah. Thank you, Vicky. I will set this over there. We keep rotating. I think I used two of these in the last week, actually. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's open this box down here. Okay. Here, Farrah, why don't you just hang tight right there, girl. Oh, Chester's playing with the Yao banana. That's a good girl. You are a great kitty. There you go, Hansley. You're a great boy, aren't you? Okay, and then I got some news updates for you, too. And this one, this is from Mayumi, our Japan friend. Tokyo. Oops, you're all right. You don't have to move. Mayumi. Mayumi always sends some pretty cool cat food. I don't think it's pretty good. Here we go. What do you think's in here, Zelda? Thanks, Mayumi. Just think about that. All the way from Japan. It's pretty nice. And her handwriting is so pretty. find a birthday gift. Oh, to, to Eldora, Mama. It's 100% cashmere, but you can hand wash it. Hope she will like it. And for kitties, I have enclosed a case of Bonito steaks. Oh, they love that. And two boxes of Thule. Yes. This type is most popular, though too small for FFRC tummy. Each box has 60 packets. It's still cold at night. Please take good care. From FFRC Nation Tokyo Branch, Mayumi. She just is awesome. Oh, should we look at this? And then we'll tuck it back in here. There's a card for my mom. She's got Eldora Mama. Oh. We'll take a look and then we'll put it back in there. Oops, I guess we won't because my mom's got to open it. I'll have to share it with you later, maybe. I'll stick it in there, and this, and I will probably hold this till Tuesday when her birthday is. Yeah, the 28th. <laughs> Anea, uh, Mayumi, I'm just going to set this inside, and I'll give this to Mom on uh, Tuesday. Are you doing Tabitha Tabitha here Tabby you gotta go over there oh 
this is those steak, I call them steaks. The cats love these. These are the things I kind of hide back, and then when I do, well, for my breakfasts, I love to give these to the kitties. They love this. They're, now are these, let's see, let's see here a second. Let's see what kind of steaks these are. Bonito steaks, so fish steaks. Oops, so there's a uh, Mudgy, there's a case, a case of the Bonito Flakes. Yeah, these are great. This is like 100% fish. And they, they, they love this. So there's quite a few of them. And of course, they all have that white kitty on there at the bottom. Yes, do you see that? That could be your friend. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mayumi. You know the cat. They love this stuff. And I think... That's my stash. <laughs> and then I put this in the cabinet in the back. <laughs> so I have fun. Um, Okay, so the pink ones are tuna, white fish, and scallops. The blue are bonito, fish with scallop, and the orange is chicken with bonito and scallop. Oh, I think these are those squeezy things, aren't they? Like the bondi? Oh, they are. There's two of these. Oh, gosh. May you me? These are perfect. These are absolutely wonderful. Look at that. There's 60 in each one. These are given out sparingly, and we all know that um, Vernon likes these, but we give these like to oldsters, kitties that doesn't want to eat, even uh, like Alice Mary. Yeah, there's just a nice little belly worth in there. Thank you, May you me. So there's this one. And there's another one here. So let me put this one up there. Thanks, Mayumi. Great box. Yep. <laughs> Mish is a warrior woman. <laughs> All right, here, tell you what. Let's take this out. And then we'll put this on the floor for you, okay? Here, Al Elsie, do you want this too? And this box is from our friend Kathy, who is just me. this was coming I forgot yeah there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirteen fourteen boxes of these this is kind of like the um uh, squeeze tubes that Mayumi sent but these these are what we call the bondi licks yeah thank you and Vernon thanks you too yeah and he would this will be shared but Vernon especially will like this this. The real Bondi Licks. Hey. Yeah. I'll put a couple up there for the boy. For the boy. The needy boy. Wow. Kathy, thank you. 
that Vernon is going to love you. Me work, aren't you? Here, give me that. There you go. I don't think that's something to play with. Matter of fact, I know it's not anything to play with. Okay. And can we have that box, Franklin? And the outside of this box says, Please spay and neuter your pets. And this is from DeWitty. This is from our friend DeWitty. has a kitty from FFRC too. Oh, whoops. Very nice pad. Thank you. Ours get thin, thin after a little while. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joey. We'll put that in, in the back and get them out when we use them. This is... Oh. <laughs> it has my name on it and on the front it says I dreamed my whole desk was clean. <laughs> Boy, how appropriate is that? <laughs> oh, peacock feathers. Says enclosed is ten dollars chicken money, half for inside cats and oh and the moss kitties they never get chicky, and half for the outside kitties snackers for inside and outside kitties also I left the card blank so you can reuse also in separate baggie some well wish cards for FFRC Nation and stamps for their use where when you see fit thank you Dewitty I like I love doing that. The rest of the items I have notes on or for whatever use FFRC wants. The crate pads should fit on the cabana shelves or other narrow places as you see fit. Thank you for all for, all for everything you do for the FFRC and community kitties also in the spay and neuter program. Triposa and Binks are doing well and say meow to everyone. Thank you, Dewey. And this will definitely do um, I'll do two of the the chicken um, chickens for the kitties and I'm going to set this inside just like this so I also have the card which is very nice time to go chicken shopping again reading material for later oh I love reading material some of that looks like is from her um, Oshkosh shelter. And these are the well wishes cards and stamps. Thank you, DeWitty. Appreciate that. Yep. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And, oh, I know what I saw. She's in there cooking. I smell it. Tree trinket. This goes in view of the kitty's window. windows outside on a lower branch of a tree or on a bird feeder holder or on the edge of a porch overhang. So the sun catches the mirrors. Oh, and the kitties see inside their cabana or other area reflections of light. Triposa thinks her tree trinket is her personal laser toy reflecting off the snow inside the living room. Once you take it out of the plastic bag, hang it up as it can tangle easily. If the mirrors are not evenly spaced at first, it may be tangled like a necklace and need delicate untangling. Once hung up, tangling is not a problem. It swings in the wind and is very durable. We have to see this. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's got lots of mirrors. Oh, you know, Dewitty, I bet we can get this hung. I know what I know a couple places we can do this for the cabana. Yeah, and this here also would reflect. 
the light, the sunlight. I'm going to set this in there so the kitties don't get it. So I get it up on the... You know, my mom has those um, prisms. She has, like, long chains of them. And I, we hung them up in front of her patio door, and the sun comes in there. And sometimes there's 50, 60, 70 little rainbows, you know, all over the carpet. It's really pretty. We always comment on that. Oh, take it out of the package? Ooh. I won't be able to get it hung up till tomorrow, though. Yeah. Oh gosh, Dewitty, this oh this is a really awesome. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, you can see where wow. Yeah, you can see where that would really reflect. Hey, you know, these could be kind of easy to make too, Dewitty. I'll bet, I'll bet. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, a, like a wind chime of, of mirrors. I should, I have some of those prisms that my mom has. I should hang them up for the kitties. Well, hello there, Annabelle. She says, I would like to see that. We have to wait till tomorrow, girl. Pretty cool, Dewitty. That'd be fun. Have you ever seen those prisms in my mom's patio door? I have some. I should hang those up when I hang that up. Caps or um, tag tabs for Karen and the girls. <laughs> I keep going inside. And, oh, the coffee. Thank you. Yeah, the ladies were asking me the other day if we had any um, unflavored coffee. Thank you. And we have, can I get, um, well, this probably ought to go back there because I think they're low. And we also have big chewy chocolate chip snackers for the, um, for the kitties, for the volunteers. Two, oh, there's three boxes of that. Thank you, Joetty. We'll use that. And then there's some kitty snackers. Oops. There's three big bags of kitty snackers. And two of the containers. Thank you very much. Kitties love these. You know what she's doing? That has that catnip on it. I know. I figured it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have... For Alma and Sea Turtle from DeWitty, Trifosa, and Bink, special foods for them. And what we'll probably do, we'll divide it in half, half. So, Barb, if you go back there in the Palm Mart, uh -huh. do you want to put this on the counter for Sea Turtle? Like for dinner today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'll put this right up here by the salmon okay. if you need it for Alma. And okay. today's her birthday, you know. Salmon? Do you like salmon? Mm, the salmon. For Alma? Uh-huh. Oh, no, no. I placed it right beside the salmon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we have towels. Appreciate it. We're very rough on towels. I watched the video of her coming in, and I was here when she came yeah, in. Yeah, of Alma. Uh-huh. That's nice. Hmm? When you bought her up here for the Yeah, first time. you were here. Yep. Uh oh, we got some more food. Yep. One, two, three, four towels. And this is for Akani and Octavia from DeWitty Binks and Triposa. She will love this. And I think she's here tonight. Oh. I think she'll be here. That just goes back. You want these in the case? Sure. And you could take all that, the little ones too. Okay. And there, we've got six of these, Mudgy. I'm going to put those right in the cabinet. 
Octavia, or I mean Tabitha, get your head out of there. And we have the second cushion too. Thanks, Dewitty. <laughs> Why don't you just go get a banana? Here, let me give you a banana. I just gave you a piece of banana. There, why don't you have that? Keep your head out of the plastic. And you too. It's okay, Sarah. Heads up, kids. You guys don't even get scared, do you? Uh, all right, let me put a couple things away, and then we've got quite a few envelopes, which is good. Here, we'll just set these over here for right now. Hi, Elsie. Are you quite comfortable? We have another box that, or another package it looks like from Severin. Yeah, these this looks like it's one of those um, dust plugs. I'm gonna lower that because I forget sometimes to do that. Yeah, Alma's, what is she, four years old today? She got chicken and some extra snackers. Yeah, these are some more of those dust plugs. Thanks, Seb. Gosh, you've sent a bunch of them. We sold those some. Now, these look like pizza. I do think that that's a pizza. Pizza one. If you want a pizza one, let me know. Looks like kiwi maybe pizza. And a little starburst kind. These go right in that hole at the top of your um your phones. Thanks, Seb. Yep, we'll do these too. We've got a thing in the store for those. This is from Sue. Our friend Sue. Okay, that goes to the Palmer. This is trash here. It says warmest thanks. Yeah, a lot of the things went out today, and what didn't go out today will go out tomorrow. It says here's my monthly donation. Please use this donation wherever it is most needed. Thank you for all that you do for the kitties. I am honored to be part of the FFRC Nation. Please give Alma, boy, she's a big hit, isn't she? Um, a hug from me, meeting Alma and to Rachel. Oh, and you in person is on my bucket list. Until next month, fondly Sue, who is mac and cheese and doodles mama. Thank you, Sue. Appreciate that. And then this one is our coupons from Cheryl, Cheryl L. Thank you, Mish. Thank you. You should have just taken it for all what you've done. Coupons from Cheryl L., our friend in, in uh, Washington. In Washington. And that goes there. And, oh, this is from, this is just a friend from Napoleon. Her name is, well, it's a just, it's a friend from Napoleon. Thank you. She's been a part of this with FFRC for a long time. Thank you. From Napoleon. The, one of the next towns that away. This is from Andrea F. Andrea F. from California. Zelda's over there playing. And yes, um, if you did notice that uh, Camby was limping, she is limping. We gave her some medication for that. This is from Andrea. And this was from our fundraiser. Thank you, Andrea. Oh, that's very, very, very special.
And this is also from Andrea. Andrea, you know what? This makes me smile. I, I'm not sure if you're on or not, but your handwriting looks just like what my grandma's was. It brings back lots of memories. And it's, I only had one grandma. Oh. Hey, Andrea. I remember we did an email. And look, Andrea, it whoops, it did arrive without the without the stamp on it. <laughs> Camby don't fall. Camby always sits on plates. Don't back up though, girl. Let's push you forward a little. Yeah. Campy loves to sit on styrofoam plates. So Andrea, both of your checks did arrive. Um, how about if I get in touch with you tomorrow about that, okay? She was so sweet. She knew when she mailed it that she forgot to put the stamp on. I've done that too. And uh, so she sent a second one to cover it, and by golly, they both showed up, and we I don't think we paid for the stamp. I remember one time, I, I knew when I dropped it in that I hadn't put the stamp on it, and I went inside and explained it to the post office. They said, no can give it back. <laughs> you have to wait till it runs it where it's addressed to. So, And this is from our friend Phyllis. Who of course is Kitty's mom, and uh, this is for the fundraiser too, from last week from our Le Chat, which was so much fun. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate that. And this is from our friends Elaine and Alan B, who had the Kitty um, little cat before she passed away. And she makes her own envelopes. I get the biggest kick out of them. They're so beautiful. They're really nice. Elaine and Alan. Um, and then they make these, their cards. Alan creates these cards. And Elaine, your handwriting too is always so beautiful. It's that time of the month when we send you our check for all the kitties. We are... We are so happy that we can do this for your many needs. The kitties keep everyone smiling with their fun antics. You all do as much to mark, make their lives more pleasant. It is a lesson to learn from them. Take care. Say hi to Eldora and all the wonderful volunteers and Steve too. Still lurking as always. Love and hugs, Elaine and Alan. And they used to always send a check from Little Cat and now it's from Elaine and Alan in uh, memory of Little Cat. And this one is also from Elaine and Alan. I thought so because I recognized the handwriting. Hang on here. This what color is Marcus. Um, gold and white out there in the cold working. Oh, and, excuse me. Oh, Tabitha. Tabitha. Oh, Tabitha, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? Hi, Lynette. Sure. You going in the back? I already did. Okay. Make up your mind, sweetie. I think tomorrow's the day, girl. Yeah. Just make sure she takes her bird. Yes, I put it on the counter even. She does really well uh, in car rides. Okay. She likes the ride. I put it on the um, yeah. counter, her birdie. And her singing. Uh, yeah. And yes, and her singing. Yeah. And the whistling. And the whistling. <laughs> I do have that. Yeah. Oh. She, she, she likes her little 
This is also created from Alan. Your show needs to go on the ro road. Enjoy that a lot. Love and hugs, Alan and Elaine. To the Le Chat sisters, I'll read it to you and then I'll give it to the ladies. Your very knowledge of great art is much appreciated by your audience. Knowing many of these wonderful artists may make these works so much more valuable since none can be replicated. Make them very much in demand. They are priceless. Hopefully the artists will let their success go to their heads and will get back to the drawing room to dream up some more catscapes. <laughs> Where do you shop for your hats? They are outstanding and very becoming. Oh my gosh. And so they, uh, Alan and Elaine, donated, made a donation because of the Le Chat sisters. And I am going to take that card and take it out. They're doing a special thing tonight. Um, we had somebody who had brought in three of the um, Kobe's. And the lady had said if the Le Chat ladies would um, do a portrait, help the kitties do a portrait from the three kitties that she had brought to FFRC, that she would um, make a donation. So the ladies are out there now um, helping the, those three particular kitties do their artwork. So that cracks me up. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Elaine. You, know, you guys are awesome. So, um, you probably have already noticed or seen that we do indeed have uh, Catherine. Catherine is out and about. She's the muted calico. She's actually right over here. She's doing, she's doing better. Every day I can see better and better. She looks beautiful and she's eating better now and I can tell she's not so bewildered like where where I mean they get so used to being in a pen so this is very different for her and then this morning I opened the door because um, uh, Olivia Olivia was at the door so I opened it up and oh my gosh she she came out almost immediately today her fun thing is running up and down the hallway back and forth she gets this wild eye look and her tail's all bushy and she turns around and runs that way and then she spins around and comes out and runs again up and down the hallway so it must be fun and uh, she's doing great I got a call tomorrow and find out when her surgery date is they were going to uh, put her in for her surgery have you ever noticed how Elsie spins around that she does so really fast on that. If I can find, uh, hey Barb, do you want to bring Olivia over? I her She'll let me. Oh, sure she will. I her? I mean, Olivia? Yes, I guess she did. Yeah. Come on, really. So beautiful. Yeah. She probably needs her face washed already. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, she's. So such a pretty. What's the latest on Spooky? Is that Spooky? I'm not sure who Spooky is. Um, look at this fur. You are just adorable. Yes, you have to go in and have your nose fixed, though. So. Uh, somebody asked how Alice Mary is today. She's been doing really good. Uh, she's eaten that I know of probably five meals today. Just, just herself. Now look at this fur. This is like cotton. There's quite a difference between she and Alice Mary in the fur, huh? Yeah. Well, you know what I think part of it is? Oh is uh, Alice Mary, we're always handling her, and I yeah. think, I wonder if the oils on our hands and hand lotion gets on her fur. You can tell she's been eaten without a bib. 
<laughs> yeah, she's just got the well, look at her squint in her eyes. She says, oh, that feels so good. Oh, she's a baby. Love her to pieces already. Oh, are you talking, um, we're, we're, if that's the cat that I'm thinking of where the mama passed away, we're make, trying to make arrangements so that that kitty, if it's the one I'm thinking of, can come in, be checked in, make sure everything's up to date, get it up to date right away, and have the owner, new owner, ready to take it right then. I don't want to have that poor kitty have to go from where it is to here to stay and then to a new home. So we're trying to get a new home in place before the kitty comes. And then, so it'll go from here, come here just for a checkup, and um, make sure everything's up to date and then send her on. That way it'll be a lot less stress. You gotta go with Auntie. Come on, come on, Cammie. Come on, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. No snackers. I'm not really sure, Tracy. I'm not really sure. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So, um, we've got people looking at Lamula and Cricket and Saturday, uh, Pippi Lee, pa no, I'm sorry, Polly Leaves. And we've got something going on with um, three other kitties, too, maybe hopefully as the same family. So, I can let you know more about that when I know more. Chewbacca is doing good. But, um, yeah, gosh, I just ran across Chewbacca's record just a couple of days ago. Do you need help, Barb? I guess she got him. You want to show him your pretty eyes? Oh. <laughs> well, on, uh, Saturday, I thought actually the, the, this is what was going on on Saturday. Um, we thought Elsie was on, well, she was on hold on Saturday. And I know a lot of you folks would love to have Elsie stay here. And believe me, there's nobody that would love to have her stay here more than me. I love her and I know she loves me. And we just all, all, you and us here love her to pieces. But you know, ultimately, if we can find a home for uh, some of these cats, whether it's two-legged, three-legged, or whatever, we, we want to try if they are adoptable. And Elsie uses the box. She's confident. You know, there's, there's a lot of good things about her that would make for a good adoption. And this lady loved her. And Elsie very much responded to her. Um, and trust me, when, when something like that happens, I do the third degree on everything from <coughs> pictures of the house. And, and I can Google all the pictures, all the homes that these cats go to. Um, but um, we also requested pictures inside to make sure the house was not cluttery so she wouldn't kind of bump into things. Um, everything was really good other than the one worry was um, the mobility of the, of, the, of the lady and she did we did kind of have a little worry about it because if Elsie got up high how would she be able to get her down if Elsie couldn't so because she cared enough she declined the adoption but I don't have Elsie on Pet Finders. Uh, maybe sometime I will, I'm not sure. Right now my hope and prayer is that somebody will just walk in and see her and just that it'll happen. Yeah, she found that right away, didn't she, the wheel. I know, we would all would love to keep her, but on the other hand, I'm going to bet you a lot of you would be thrilled if she found her own home. It's hard. There's some that I don't want to let go. There's a lot I don't want to let go. <laughs> yeah. 
No, we don't have any hold or anything on Elsie right now. Yes, she did take, uh, duh, who was the kid? He, she took, um, oh, fiddle faddle. Let me check. I got it wrote down. She's the one that took Harvey. She was hoping to take Harvey and Elsie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly where Elsie should go. So, <laughs> exactly. Yep, you're right, Nance. Yeah. All right, Kitty, you're making me sweat. It's humid today. It is really humid. This this is just weird. The um, House of Joan felt this far. Oh, so I nice. noticed that. Almost need to uh, get the fans out in there. Mm -hmm. You ready to get down? Hmm? No, not yet. <laughs> Sometimes probably people think I'm crazy showing up, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, Mish, I can believe, I think you could take anybody and we'd be happy. <laughs> On Q-tip, no, not yet. Although I do know, I do know he's doing good. Yeah. Hey, I do have another update though. On, um, I I don't know if some of you knew. Steve and I discovered the feeding station out behind uh, the mall here in Defiance by Walmart, where we we've always known there's so many cats over there. But we actually found the feeding station, and why we didn't see this before? I have no idea. It's out there in plain sight. I just don't know. But I saw a man petting um, this beautiful black and white kitty cat. And uh, so we parked and I ran over and I asked him because I saw the uh, uh, one of something like one of our houses that we have outside for the, the outside cats. And there was plates and dishes around. And uh, I asked him if he was the one feeding the the mall cats. And he said, no, he was just walking by and this black and white cat walked up to him. So he was sitting on the ground petting him, petting him. Beautiful, friendly boy cat. And then, so then the next night is when Steve and I went to the movies, Tuesday night. And I had a letter written up that said that who I was and director of FFRC, that we were very interested in helping whoever was taking care of this colony, that if they needed help with food, we would help, but I was most important, or most importantly, I was, I'm interested in spaying and neutering the cats. And uh, so I put it in a plastic bag because it was rainy and tucked it inside or on the outside of their house. But when I was there, this van was there, uh, a man and a lady, and I said, are you guys the ones that take care of these kitties? And they said, no, but they stopped by once in, once in a while, which they had. And they, too, noticed, just like what I did, I noticed that the cans were dried and empty and the plates were old and just looked like they hadn't really had fresh food there. And so um, he and his wife went and bought some. But they said that the lady who feeds these kitties uh, they wonder if she might be sick because they had not seen her for a while. And um, and we, Steve and I, of course, had brought canned food and dried food as well. So I asked the man, I said, I don't want to disturb you and your wife feeding them, but do you care if I take a plate over so I can kind of just eyeball the cats there? And I know the there was five. And... Uh, it's like, you know, the magic of the can opening, they, they came. And I know three of the five are boys. And so this man said, too, he said, well, can't you just go ahead and do your neuter program without, you know, really setting it up with that lady? And I, because she doesn't own them, she just helps feed them. And I said, yeah, yeah, we can. I just wanted out of respect to... Um, include her in it so that's high on my list of priorities I want to do that I, I know three of the five were boys and I'm pretty sure those other two were boys he had said that there was a calico and a 40 there 
in December. Um, but he said he ha he and his wife hadn't seen them for a really long time. So I felt bad about that. So those would have been two girls. So tomorrow I've got the number of who to talk to, uh, the maintenance guy there at the mall. He's a really good, great, good guy. And I want to talk to him uh, about it because he's very well, well aware of the cats being there. And so apparently they have had that feeding station there for a long time. So I'll keep you updated on that. Olivia, you got to wake up. Yeah, don't close your eyes. Wake up. I got to go take care of Grandma. You want to go to Auntie Barbie? Do you know she looks way, way, way bigger than our sweet uh, Alice Mary? But we weighed her, and she's actually, Olivia is a little bit smaller than Alice Mary. She it does not seem possible. does not look smaller. Mm -hmm. her Just her. ounces. Oh, my God. No, the feeding station is, is uh, well, actually, the the thing that the, the the house, it's about this size. Looks kind of like what ours do out there, and um, and I noticed there was straw, but beside that was a big Rubbermaid tub that was on its side, and there was plates in there. So I don't know. I I just want to get them neutered. <laughs> Hey, and guess what? Another really cool thing. Um, March 28th, we are going to have our second in one month uh, spay-neuter day from Humane Ohio. I talked to uh, Gretchen there from Humane Ohio, and I said, we want to get another spay-neuter date in March. So uh, they gave us a date, March 28th. It's a Tuesday. I'm thrilled. We're going to start booking that up and try to get as many as what we can get done before baby season. Yeah, you know, she feels bigger, but she's not. She, there's a, like four ounces, I think it was, difference. Um, now today, though, Alice Mary really ate well. So, and I'm not sure if I told you, they are really half-sisters. Their daddies are the same daddy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go get my mom taken care of. Hang on. Hang on, Sarah. Atta girl. She is cute. She's had so much fun today. Oh, hey, and speaking of Lady Gal, Lady Gal sent us, Mudgy, if you could add to it, was there five boxes? Lady Gal, Gal sent us, I think it was five boxes, and some of it was the little bags that I used for adoptions, which I was so glad because we were very low on those. And then a box, there was a box of Biggie Doos, Lady Doos, and mixes and matches, and wonderful, wonderful boxes. And so I'd like to... Um, show you some of those soon. I'll just bring some up and show them to you. Alice Mary's eyes are doing much better. Ross, you're, you're very welcome. And it's actually not from FFRC. It's from a friend of FFRC. But I think that will go out in the mail tomorrow, Ross. It'll take a little while to get to you. All right. Nighty night, folks. And thank you all so very, very much. Barb's here tonight. She'll take good care of everybody. <laughs> oh, Nance, you guys are all wonderful. Yeah, big thanks to Leggy Gal. Can you imagine the mountain of Leggy Doos and Biggie Doos that we have sold? It would be so big, it'd be bigger in my house, I'm sure. Thank you, Bella Bell. Thank you, everybody, for caring about my mom. She's going to be 93 on Tuesday. 93. I'm just so happy about that. It is amazing. She's gone through some 
rough shells here, but she keeps pulling out of it. She's, you know, it's been four weeks and two days that she took that last fall, and that one, boy, that really was a rough one. You know, it just kind of knocks their socks off and just uh, really puts her down, but physically, mentally, emotionally, everything down and hurt. And gosh, this time, you know, and each time she falls, it's like it kind of takes away a little bit from her. But man, I'm telling you, right now, she's feeling good and ornery. She makes me laugh all the time. We have a good time together. So uh, she's doing great. Yep. We'll get her some cake for, for Tuesday. <laughs> she went to the antique store. The um, old red barn, and uh, she had a blast. She had a really good time. She she did really well. I was pleased. They they were closed, but they opened up just so mom could come. Wasn't that nice? All right, thanks everybody. Nighty night. Oh Mary. <laughs> Yay. I got a little